Let me just reset the room. I'll reset the room. Uh, so the problem, brother, and the reason why the sisters uh, uh, were so frustrated and upset is because we have a policy here in the room. This room is called Islam according to God. Brother, you didn't even say one Quranic verse as a means of proof for your argument. Your entire argument was philosophical, was based on hadith aspects. Your entire argument was not from the Quran. It came from uh, academics. Uh, yes, academics. I use history. I use history and I use deduction. So I have a question. I have a question for you. So, but I was interrupted. I was interrupted. I was rudely interrupted. Just give me one second. One second, brother. You. Yeah, but you're misrepresenting what I said, and I was interrupted. You'll be able to speak, brother. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. The problem is this, brother. This is the policy we've had in our room since day one. Everything comes from the ayat of Allah's proof. If you were listening, if you were listening to the previous dialogues, everyone here can acknowledge and agree. Every time we will present the ayat of Allah as clear proof. We don't present our rationale, our academics, history from outside of the Quran. We simply provide what Allah says, straightforward verses of the Quran as clear proof. This is what the messenger was commanded to do. Recite the verses of the Quran to them as clear proof, as by not. So this is why we recite the Quran as clear proof. So going forward, brother, out of respect. Right, but you know, you, brother Habib, real, real quick, when you when he was talking, though, it was so great in my head and what was going through Quran, Quran verses were coming in my head while he was speaking, my, not even using them, not even realizing, like, you just read one where the inheritors, yes. right, it's how it got here, and then he's like, this is how we know, because now we can confirm, the only reason why it's known is because now we confirm, right, it's okay, you confirm the ayat, you think you know how you have that, but the ayat say it, we believe it, we believe the ayat, and, and, and yet the whole talk was about other ayats in the Quran that, that go with what he's saying and sometimes go against what he's saying. But Right. So what we want you to do, brother, is that when you when you uh, you know conclude, we would hope we're only looking for we're not looking for a philosophical debate. We're not metaphysic Jake the metaphysician. Okay. We're Muslims who submit to Allah alone through his word alone. So that means when you say, well, Allah says here, obey the messenger, that means to obey hadith narrations. And we will say, well, according to the Quran, Bill of Quran, Tafsir, Allah says how to obey the messenger in Surah 7, Ayah 35. We understand the Quran through the Quran. And any time we go outside the Quran is to the ayat of Allah that Allah points us to inside the Quran as a means of understanding the Quran. Brother so your deduction, I'm, I'm landing. Your deduction, your logic of reasoning, it means absolutely nothing in the room that's called Islam according to God. If it was Islam according to Khalil, boy, you would have a, 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 a you know, A plus in the class. But it's Islam according to God. You got to present ayat of Allah as proof, brother. Going forward, gentlemen, if anybody would like, what we simply asked is to show us where Allah has given the Sultan the authority to associate the words of narrators as al-Islam. This is the brother, question. Okay. And the brother went around in 20 different circles saying all type of stuff that had nothing to do with where did Allah give us the authority to take the narrations of hundreds of men and women as al-Islam. So, but Brother Habib, it, you're asking us to ponder. And when we are pondering and you're using, we're using logic, we're using the signs around us, which is also history, all of a sudden you don't want to use that anymore. No, Do you know no, no, to ponder upon the, the signs of Allah? The, the ayat, the ayat of God, are in human souls, are they not, brother? Our ayat are go... in the in the horizons and in your own self. Yes, yeah, but hadith is not inside. In... Ayat I'm not talking hadith about hadith. hadith. I never the mentioned hadith. hadith. Not inside you. Can I, I just recite one verse, please, Khalid? I just want to recite a, a verse. But I never mentioned hadith. This let is from me... it. So I don't. Go ahead, brother. Let her. Please let her recite. Please let her. Okay, so you know you said how do you understand or how do you, we have to go to narrations and stuff like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Aud billahi binay shaitani jim bismillahi rahman rahim. Bil bay nati wal zabur wal al zalna leka zikra lito bayina nil nasi nuzila. With the clear proofs, 1015, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he came with the clear proofs. When we were presented the verses of clear proofs, they said, bring us another Quran or change it. 
And the prophet said, I cannot change it of my own accord. I fear my Lord. I only follow what was revealed to me. So we know that the clear proofs come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the verses. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and with the written ordinances, the Zabur. So again, that's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he says, and we sent down to you the dhikr that you may make clear to mankind. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in 1689, uh, it's the uh, clarification of all things. In 12111, he says it's it's an explanation of all things. And when he says in eight, um, 2533, they do not come to you with an example, but we give you the best tafsir. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is owning the tafsir, he's owning the clarification, he's owning the explanation, Brother Habib's probably brought up your verses. Thus I explain the verses for people who use their intellect. Thus I explain the verses for people who ponder. Thus I explain the verses for people who, who need to know or whatever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing the explanation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing the clarification and he's doing it with his own verses. So when someone came to the Rasul and asked him about intoxicants, he doesn't know. He has to wait for wahi. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, they ask you about intoxicants. Say, kul. In them is so and so and so and so. So don't come here with your extracurricular stuff and sit there and say that this is from the Rasul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he gives the interpretation. 12 6. How do you know you, that he didn't know? Everywhere you come, no, let me finish. Please let me finish. Everywhere you come at it, every way you want to come at this book, Allah has covered it because he knows the nafs of human. He knows that the same thing. We don't take the Bible because it's narrations according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Do you accept those books? No, you don't. You sit there in, in Christian rooms fighting against them. That you got corruption. You got. You corruption. know why we don't accept yeah, it? Because bringing, there's no wait, chain no, of wait, narrations. Because I need to go pick up my daughter. I've only got a minute. Um, you come here and you're doing exactly the same thing. When you got the clear, 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 clear book from the, the Quran from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, is it not sufficient for you that Allah gave you the book that you recite to them? And you're unacquainted with this book oh, because you come from third parties to sit there and see what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said. Pick up the book. This is a book, there is no doubt in it. A guidance for those who are the mutaki, those who have taqwa. You're advertising that you have no taqwa. Subhanallah, you have doubt. The minute you pick up the book, you do surah fatiha, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you to the straight path, the path that you have favored and not the path of those being led astray. That's two paths in the book. One is the Surat al mustaqim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala details in the Quran if you just want to open your eyes. And one is that other people, this is why in 6.51, the Rasul says, this is my path, so follow it and do not follow any other paths. But you want to follow diversionary paths. You want to bring lahwa hadith, diversionary hadith, and zukra fakawli, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not have anything to do with this. And you bring this up as the Rasul's words. Subhanallah. You made Rasul into a pedophile. You made him into camel drinking, um, people camel drinking and branding their eyes with iron. You're telling people, there's a hadith I read yesterday that if you marry, no, if you have sexual intercourse with a boy, you cannot marry his mother. It's unlawful for you. Astaghfirullah. Wake up, brothers and sisters. This is Shaitan's MO. He's been doing it from day one and you guys fell for it. Hook, line and sinker. Come back to the book. And quite frankly, when you tell me to come to Sunni Hadith, sorry, if I were going to go to history, what about Shia Hadith? You sit there and say, no, no, that's not correct. That's not correct. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not break into sex. You have nothing to do with them. Their affair is with Allah only. Each rejoicing in what they have. You carry on rejoicing in your Hadith books. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran is sufficient for a Muslim, for Mumini, and for Mukhlasin. Carry on with your bullshit. Do, do you realize yeah. that you guys are the only one creating this sect right now? Because do, every sect, every, do you also every, realize every, that? All right, one mic, guys. I'm Let's have one mic. I don't Let's... appreciate. I don't appreciate a whole bunch of Sunni hadith about camel urine and and marriage and all this being attributed right. to Khalil, me. If I was promoting that, I never. We're gonna we're gonna let you we're gonna it's let you land unfair. your plane, brother. We're gonna let you land your plane. We just simply want you to recite the ayat of Allah as clear proof, because we want to submit to Allah. We don't want to submit to your, your ideology or your philosophy. rationale or your and philosophy. To, so, to think the eye of Allah is history. Right He's narrating to you history. Yours, yours, brother. We don't want to submit no, to no, your no, rationale. No, no, The Quran says to reflect, to ponder, and to use. On the ayat. On the ayat. On the ayat. Yeah, what are the ayat of God? Where are they? They're only in the book? No. Brother, they're, brother, they're, they're, they're in up. history. They're in nature. They're not. Brother, the history, the everything that. So so let's put. So I'm using. I literally. I My entire argument was. I said 
you affirm that the Quran is from God, and then you reflect on history. History is full of the ayats of God, and I use logic. And now you're saying you don't believe in logic. Let me no, ask no, you no, this. No, no, no. Like history you, books, history no, books no, aren't no, the no, ayats no, of Allah. History books are not ayats of Allah. Here are my Please, questions. Get your hold on, hold on. This. Number one, number one, number one. Question number one. Brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're still, we're still, no, 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 Khalil, Khalil, we're still looking for, this is the problem we're having. Brother. You have not let me reply. Every brother, time I want you're to not, reply, somebody you're, you're, comes in and interrupts. Yes, brother, I was this, interrupting no, we let you talk for a good 10 minutes, bro. You yeah, just went but then I was literally told minutes, to bro. shut up. And, and you, you moderators, you moderators allow one No, we stopped them, brother. No, brother, we stopped them. You let someone tell me to shut up. If you Brother, I can't control people. As soon as they did it, I talked to them. Yeah. Brother. I would call the person out. If someone okay. in my if someone told a guest of mine to shut this guy up, I would told, right. tell that person this is not how we treat people in the room. We did we say that, brother. That. No, you we didn't. Did. No, you we didn't. We said this you, is not how we do things here. This is not how you, we do things. You here. never anyway, here's a point. But I hold on, finish. hold on, Khalil. Khalil, could you could you could you just do this just one second, please? Okay. Could you just simply do this? One second. I reset the room. I brought it back to the Quran. And one of the statements that I made, brother, was simply we were looking for a Quranic clear proof from Allah. We, if, how long were you in this room before you got up here? I'm just curious. No, I probably didn't. I probably didn't hear when you specified that. that okay. The whole discussion is only Quran based, and we can't use deductive logic. Right, brother. See, I think, but you know who we are. You know that this is our room and what we do. And when you talk about history, you said in history we we supposed to go to history. Allah tells us in the Quran and speaks about history. In Surah 12, Ayat 111, when he talks about the story, when he says in their, their stories, the stories of the previous messengers, the stories throughout the Quran he gives us, in their, uh, in their uh, stories, there is a lesson for those who possess uh, uh, intelligence. Then Allah says, this is not a fabricated hadith. This confirms all previous scriptures, provides the details of everything and is a beacon and a mercy for those who believe so the history that Allah calls us to in the Quran is the cities that he has destroyed that he tells us to go look at the history that he tells us is inside of the Quran and he tells us to go look at the history outside of the Quran because he's attaching it to his book just like the ayat of Allah inside the Quran sun, the moon, the stars, these things that we ponder and reflect on, things that are within inside of ourselves. So everything we follow is in the Quran. Now, if you would like to present ayat of the Quran as a means of clear proof so we can submit to them, then please, we'll give you uh, another 60 seconds to present some verses so we can submit to those ayat. Thank you. Be before he carries on, Nadia, you made a claim that when, uh, you know, about the drinking and the Prophet didn't know and he had to wait for Wahi. Where did you get that the Prophet didn't know? Yeah, the Quran if we says don't it, get something out The Quran says it. It says that he didn't know that, that you're not allowed to drink? No, no, he didn't. So, brother, Allah says in the Quran that you did not know. You didn't know about the book. You didn't know anything. He had no knowledge, brother. He was sent. He was from among the people of the Umi'in, the people who had no knowledge of the book. This is why Allah says it is him who gave him the knowledge. It is him who guided him. Before that, he was he didn't know she either. Said, he was a stress. She okay. said I, that, I have a that question. about the I about the eye about dream. So so well let's yeah, let's not get diverted. Let's not get diverted. Let's no, 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 Khalil go. These are my questions for you. So no, no, we don't we're not idea. answering questions. We're asking you where did Allah give you the authority to associate the narrations from hundreds of men and women. Where did uh, where did Allah give you the authority to cut off what Allah has deemed to be joined? Where did okay. you get that authority? You're creating sects. You're literally right. creating sects, and you're accusing okay. so, us of creating sects. So sect. the Quran right. says so, that the so, messenger of Allah is reciting the ayat. Let's pause there. What are those? Are those the Quran? Yes, brother. The ayat are inside the Quran as well. Okay, yes. so he's reciting the ayat. Okay, uh -huh. and then it adds to that and says, and also teaching you the kitab and the hikmah. So that's reciting and teaching. The Quran says in many verses that when you have a dispute or matter that needs deciding on, it is the messenger who judges between you. And that to be counted as one who has faith, you have to make, they have to make you, referring to Muhammad, the judge in all matters between you.
The Quran also okay, says... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's do one listen, verse listen, at a time. No, yeah, one at a time. Let's, let's, let's go with that one. Now. If I get interrupted one more time... No, no, no. One at a time, I'm brother. We're just no, trying to... I'm going to excuse myself from the conversation. Brother, to be Khalil, fair, Nadia, just, Nadia recited around. 10 verses. She you recited 10 one person to recite He said he has on one on question, so we were just going to go on that. several That's accusations all. of me that are not true because I'm not even Sunni, okay? And you allowed that to happen. You never said, no, let's just talk about camel urine first. You never said that. So now I get you, and you've asked me to recite verses or refer to verses, and I'm doing it. Okay, so... So now you're not letting me. All right, so hold on. We hold just on. Said, so what's the first? The what's, you're That's not all. naming the verses, brother. You just you know hard be, because 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 a uh, brother um, what's your name, Habib, Mr. Habib, you and I have had a conversation about all this stuff before, right? So I like I, I, any verse I tell you, you already know the verse. You just interpret it differently. No, so I don't. I don't to, interpret it anyway. Yeah, I just so follow two exactly one fifty one sixty two verse two three one sixty four. All uh, talking hold, hold on, about brother. the mandate of the messenger and how his. Teaching Kitab and Hikmah is is second. It comes after reciting the ayah. You know. So this. where is this? Where is this at? The and you let like him. He purifies them. How does so the message very much today? when he is living? When the prophet is living, he didn't only recite the Quran and let everyone interpret it on themselves. No, no, no. Oh. That's, that's not my question, Khalid. All right, brother. My Allah question is, where trouble. is this? No, but I want you asking. to acknowledge. I want you to acknowledge that when the messenger is alive, he is the teacher of the Quran, and nobody else is He's in not. the community is teaching He's not. the Quran. He's right. not the so, teacher. Now you of the have Quran. to tell me today. Today, how will you take no, your case no, no, to the no. messenger? No, 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 no. I want you to first. I no, want, I want you to answer this because this is the one that you brought up. Who's the teacher of the Quran? Now, this this point is important because today, you guys have all said that the today, stories Khalid. of past messengers are ayat, but you don't seem to. You said the history of past messengers are ayat. The Quran says Jesus and Mary are ayat. Okay, it says in the stories of Yusuf and his brothers there are ayat. So you fully believe that in the histories of past messengers, in actually what happened and what they did, you believe there is ayat in that, and yet. You think that there are no ayat in the history of the last messenger? No, no, no. No one said that. No one said that. Hold on, Khalil. Khalil, this is turning into. We need one at a time, please. Khalil, 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 you're turning this into a philosophical debate, my brother. You're turning this into a philosophical debate, my brother. We, brother, please just calm down. One second, one second, Khalil, please. I just simply, this is how we do things here. You present the verse of the Quran, and then we read the verse. Acknowledge what Allah says, and we use Quran, Bill of Quran, Tafsir to understand the meaning of the verse. So let's do that. Okay, you have so, so much verbiage, brother. Verse, You're so wordy. I, I brought just, up just three take verses it, about just, the teaching function of the messenger. Okay. I mentioned the judging function of the messenger, and then 1544, the explaining function of the messenger. He has to 1544, explain brother. What has been 1544. Said you said 1544. So okay. I brought you several so verses, and we've talked about this let's, before. Now let's address them. Let's no, address them. but I, I need to, I, I brought brother the Khalil, verses. Why are you not... being a bully, bro? Let's address the Yeah, let's, let's address, address this verse that you just quoted. But again, you're trying to you just quote get verses, gangster. and you interpret Brother, you're them. trying now to you be a gangster. Bro, you're trying to be a gangster. You need to calm down. You presented the ayat as proof. We don't need you to explain them into existence. Now let's do Quran, Bill of Quran, Tafsir to understand the ayah. He I left. will bring you back up. He left you because we, he left. we caught him. Listen, we caught him now. listen. Well, here's the thing what we said before. And just everyone take a deep breath. And we always get this so excited. And it gets me, this is not what I, I want to do here. But, you know, you brought this up before, but when you spoke about um, that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the judge, right? And that was at the time. It reminds me of the of the ayats in the Quran where it talks about when uh, you're going over to, to his house, do not come over too early and do not stay late.